Hi fashion sewers, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a covered belt with a buckle and eyelets. My name is Colleen G Lee and this is Fashion Sewing Blog. Now here's a covered belt that I've made and um, this is a buckle with a prong okay and that actually feeds itself through the eyelets so this is what the buckle area looks like of a belt and there it is at the back. And the other end of the belt is where the eyelets will be. And these are what you call eyelets. And that's what they look like on the reverse side. And what I did here in order to cover my belt and keep it in place is I used slip stitching in order to sew it. Now this is... Uh, the belt stiffening. Um, it's also known as buckram I believe and it has an adhesive side so um, the other side is actually got glue on it and it's quite it's quite rigid and um, what you need to do is to make sure that when you are putting it down your fabric it's glued down okay now in order to do the covering for your belt you'll need fabric that's going to be twice the width of your buckram and also seam allowance so it's 1.5 or 3 eighths of an inch all the way around now um, always with an iron put um, fold your fabric in half and put a crease line so that will be a guide to where to put your belt stiffening and you put it along like so all the way down and then that is when you get your iron and put them um, and uh, actually iron in, in place you can also use an ironing cloth if you wish but in this case I'm not going to and you should end up with something like this one. So I've now ironed my buckram onto the fabric. I'll just wait so you can actually see that. Okay, and now the next step for me to do is actually fold the seam allowance onto the buckram there. All the way around. So I'll start at this end here. And with my iron, I'll just gently iron that into place. And then you get the other end, making sure that is in alignment. And then with your iron again, just go all the way, all the way down to the length of your belt. And once you've got it in that position, you now need to bring the other end over the belt and then turn in the seam allowance. Like so. So about a few millimetres from the edge of the belt. And then what will happen is you will get your iron again and press that into position so you end up with something like that and then you'll actually stip, slip stitch all the way around now, now my um, belt stiffening or buckram is now covered and what I did was um, to actually slip stitch the fabric over the belt stiffening and I've used the slip stitch as I've just said and you can see I've done it on the inside of the belt this is and I've done it quite big because this is a demonstration but you could do it smaller and this is what it looks like on the right side of the belt I just wanted that nice clean crisp finish but if you wish you could actually go on your sewing machine and then top stitch all the way around it's really about your choice Okay, now I'm going to show you how to put eyelets in. That's up the buckle end, and this is where three eyelets I've got on the other end. So that's what I'm going to show you to do next. I'm now ready to put the eyelets onto the belt, the covered belt, and the tools that you're going to need is a hammer, a nail, an eraser or rubber. Whatever you, whatever you call it, I'll show you a little trick with that, and eyelets. Now I've got some here, and this is what 
this is what it looks like there so that's going to be the right side and the wrong side is kind of like um, raised and that's what's going to split and kind of make the same kind of shape as the front okay now I've actually done a hole in the uh, belt itself so what you need is your nail find the middle of the belt position and um, what's going to happen there is going to put the hammer onto the nail into the fabric and then hammer now the trick here is to use a rubber underneath so you don't damage your craft mat or your table if you don't have one and you position it like so and then I'm going to get the base of it here My, I'm actually a right hander so <laughs> I'm just going to show you what you'll do is that you'll tap it in there and it goes through the rubber or eraser like butter that's what it, that, that's what it will feel like and once you've done that you create a hole like so okay and now you need to just remove the nail come to one place and the rubber now this is the tool that you're going to be needing in order to fix the eyelets into position on the belt so you get an eyelet it can be a bit fiddly and place it over the hole and just wriggle it about until it gets into position like that so remember this is going to be the front of the belt and then this is what it's going to look like on the reverse side of the belt okay so now I'm going to show you how to actually hammer that into position get those out of the way now this little tool actually comes with the kit so when you buy an eyelet kit this is what comes with it and um, this is the end that you're going to be using to hammer and this end here is what's going to cover the, at the back of the eyelet so put that on top of the eyelet like so and then get my hammer and tap it a couple of times maybe more than a couple of times <laughs> No, I need to just give it a good. Yes, I'm going to give it one more hammer. Maybe another one, just to be sure. Yes, done it. So it takes a couple of hammers. You do have to be quite firm, and then that's what happens. And it does feel a lot smoother as well. So that's what it's going to look like on the wrong side of your belt. And then that's what it looks like on the right side of your belt. Okay, that is an eyelet which the prong of your bottle goes into. So I'll just show you that now. So you thread it through like so. Your prong goes in like that. And then that goes through the other end. And there we have it. And then what you'll do next will be to slip stitch that into position. And that's your eyelets. Okay, this is now a completed belt that is covered and has the buckle and the eyelets. Okay, right, you need a eyelet at the buckle end in order for the prong to come through. And once you've done that, you need to fasten the buckle to the belt. And what happens is you need to fold back some of the belting back on itself to the wrong side and then slip stitch it and um, as you can see um, I've done a pretty good job there I think because you can't even see the stitching okay so that's the buckle end and the other end of the belt is the eyelets now what you need to make sure is the first one that you do is you're going to be your waist measurements and thereafter is up to you really how far you actually position the others you can have three or four as many as you like so that's the right side and that's the wrong side as you can see the top edge here is where I've actually sewn the seams and I've used a slip stitch okay so that's what you called a covered belt with a buckle and eyelets I hope you found that tutorial useful um, I just want to say if you want to continue watching any more of my videos 
do go to my fashion sewing blog TV channel in where you'll find many more useful videos that I hope will be helpful in your sewing projects. Until next time, I'll see you then.